Hey guys, so this is just the this is the third video, and it's a continuation of the difference equation. So, rec back in the last video, we did recursive solutions, right? And essentially, what we did was we put in n values of n, and then we used the initial conditions, and then we found x of n given a certain equation, and we just plug in the n values. And pretty much, it was just a plug and play system, okay? And we found out each and every different iteration of the y equation. Okay, so right now, uh, so right now I'm going to do the second method, which is called direct form solution. So if you remember what direct form is, it was a graph. Okay, it was a little diagram that we made through the difference equation. Okay, so reusing the last, reusing the last example. So example is y of n minus two y of n minus one uh, plus y of n minus two equals to x of n minus 3x of n minus 1, okay? So using the direct form solution, sorry, this should be direct form 2 solution, we can use this system, we can use this to create a, a direct form diagram, and then therefore we can create a, a direct form solution, okay? So to do that, we use the difference equation, which was, uh, just looking back here, which was y of n equals to a1, y of, uh, y of n minus 1, all the way to a of n, on the other side, it was b not x of n plus b one x of n minus one blah 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 all the way to x b of m b of m times x minus x of n minus capital M. Okay, so similarly here we're going to write down the b not and the a not uh, coefficients. Okay, so on this side, what we're going to do first is we're going to find the a not. So a not is always one. Okay, a one is equal to what negative two. A 2 is equal to 1, 1, right? So what about this side? So this side is b naught is equal to 1, and then b1 is equal to negative 3, and then b2 is equal to 0, okay? Because this is a second order system, we need to make sure that the reason why, remember I said it was a second order, and you can tell is because the highest amount of shift in the in the y of n or x of n terms determines the order of the system okay so using these now we're gonna use the we're gonna be using the direct form solution okay so if you guys remember from last year uh, anytime we see a delay we can just write a delay note a noted delay is like this okay so if x of n goes into a delay system like D what comes out is x of n minus 1 Okay, so for each delay box that we go through, then we have a uh, delay by one. Okay, so keep that in mind because we're going to be using this in the direct form. So the direct form can be written as since it's negative two, so the order of the system is negative two, so therefore there's going to be two delay boxes. So we're going to write simply down the middle two delay boxes. Okay, so we're going to write D on them because they're delays. Okay, and if you remember from the past, uh, X of N instead of now is coming into the system. Okay, and we just write like this, okay. y of n, okay, and what goes into here, like that, and it goes like this, and it goes like, oops, it goes like this, and it goes like this, and they're all connected, okay, so these guys here are connected in the middle because it's the first order, second order, okay, so if you remember correctly from before, uh, we're going to use, this side is all of A, so this is AO, which is always equal to 1. This is going to be this way, positive, which is going to go like this, and it's going to go up like that, right? And this is what? Negative A1, and it's going to come here, and it's like that. And this guy's going to be negative A2, okay? And remember, on the other side, is going to be B. Right? So what is B naught is? What is B naught? So B naught in this case is 1. So this is B naught is equal to 1, right? Okay? And then from this one, we're going to have to put another summer, right? And then this guy is going to come over here, like that. Okay? If you remember that from the last years, okay? So if you don't remember how to do this, look back at Dimitri's video last year. He is near the end of the uh, course, but uh, he taught it how you can go directly to form two, okay? So direct form two, you find out your 
a1, a, a0, a1, a2, a b0, b1, b2, okay? And then you put on the, on the left side is a, uh, a coefficients, on the right side is b coefficients. And remember that uh, a coefficients are always negative, okay? Always, always negative, okay? And a0 is always 1, okay? That's what you have to remember. And the order of the system is dictated by the greatest amount of shift, okay? So... So what is this going to be? We can find out B1 is equal to negative 3, B2 is equal to 0. So we can actually eliminate this one here and get rid of this adder and just directly go into like that. Okay, so just one line, one solid line. Okay, so in the middle we can note that, okay, what is in the middle here in this common node, which is what? We're going to name it something arbitrary called, like, let's say W of N. Okay, and each time we go down this delay, we're going to do Wn minus 1, Wn minus 2. Okay, so this is what? I, this node here is W of n minus 1. This one here is W of n minus 2. Okay, and from this, we can, this diagram, we can make a direct form solution now. Potentially from this, we can find a direct form solution. So the direct form solution is we're going to be take, we're going to be solving an we're going to be solving an expression for x of n and we're going to be solving an, uh, an expression for a, a y of n. Okay, so we're going to go through this. So x of n. So at this point, what do we find? So this is w of n. W n minus one goes into here, and it gets added up to here. Okay, and then what's here? So let's start from the bottom to the top. Okay, so this is we're going to start here. Okay, so this one is going to be uh, W of n, n minus 2, times a2, negative a2, okay? Oh, sorry, and this one was, sorry, negative 2, sorry, oop. This one is equal to 1, this one is equal to negative 2, okay? So, <coughs> A2, sorry, let me rewrite everything. So this is going to be negative 1 W of n minus 1, n minus 2, sorry. And this is going to be added to negative, negative 2 W of n minus 1 plus x of n. And that's all going to equal to w of n okay and so how do I know that so I go I start from the bottom here so w of n minus 2 gets summed with w of n minus 1 times a minus 1 a times negative a1 plus x of 2 and it all comes so it all comes in like this and it gets added and then this one gets added and then this one comes in as well so this one comes in as well and all of it all of it added up is it going to equal to w of n Okay, so again, negative 1 times Wn of minus 2, and then keep going. Okay, so now I'm going to just clean this up a little bit. So I'm going to say W of n is equal to x of n uh, plus 2, because minus minus, W of n minus 1 minus W of n minus 2. Okay, so that's the first one we're going to use. Okay, the second one we need to find is y of n. So how do we find that? So since this b2 is 0, then we know this branch doesn't exist. Let's say it's, it's crossed out. So again, so we know there's no n minus 2 component here. Okay, uh, I mean w of n minus 2 component. So let's start from here. So w of n minus 1 gets summed with w, n, w of n. Okay, so then this is w of n minus 1 plus w of negative 3 times w of n minus 1 plus w of n because this top node here is just w of n and that's all equal to y of n okay and cleaning it up again let's say that y of n just rearranging a little bit w of n minus 3 w of n minus 1 okay so remember from last time I said the initial conditions were given that uh, y of negative 1 is equal to uh, 0, y of negative 2 equals to 1, x of negative 1 equals to uh, 1, and x of 
m is equal to 2 to the power of n mu of n. Okay, so these are all your initial conditions and equations that you're given. Okay, just make sure you can see that. Okay, you can see it. Okay. So using these two equations, what we're going to do first, so what's the strategy now? We need to take the initial conditions and transfer them to W of n, because W of n is something that we just made up, and we made an expression for it using direct form 2. Okay, so this is direct form 2. Okay, so we're going to use these two equations, 1 and 2, to create the equations for W of n. Okay. So starting first with n equals to 1, okay? So let's say n equals to 1. So we're going to convert the I initial conditions of y to initial conditions of w, okay? So at n equals 1, we're going to find, you're going to use this one, right? So y of 1 equals to w of 1 minus 3w of negative 1, okay? Oop, my mistake. It should be n equals negative 1. Sorry. Negative 1. That was a negative 1. And I made another mistake. It should be 1. <laughs> ah, yes. Okay, so this is w of n minus 1. Sorry about that. So we're going to use y of n. Uh, okay, and then w. So what is this one going to become? 0. No, negative 2. Negative 2. Okay. So that's the first equation that we have. And now we're going to do n equals to 2, uh, negative 2. y of negative 2 is equal to w of negative 2 minus 3w of, what's that, negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. Okay, so what do we do now? So since we know that the order of the system is 2, we can eliminate this and we can say that's 0. Why? Because nothing goes shift, is shifted past 2. The order of the system is only 2. So anything that's out of the order of the system is automatically called 0. Okay? So, and from, from the initial conditions of y of negative 2, we also know that y of negative 2 is equal to 1. So this is y is equal to 1, right? And equals to y of u, w of 2 minus 0. Okay, so now we can safely say that w of negative 2 is equal to 0. Okay, so that's our first one we can get. So now we're going to put this back into here. So y of negative 1, we already know is 0 because of the initial conditions. So this is 0 uh, equals to, well, w of negative 1, we don't know, negative 1, minus 3w of negative 2, which is also equal to what? 1. I'm sorry, let me rewrite this. w of negative 2 is equal to 1. Okay, so 0 equals to w of n minus 1 minus 3 times 1. Okay, so we're going to move this to the other side. So negative 1 is equal to negative, which equals to 3, sorry. Okay, so now we have these two equations. So we have these two initial conditions that we know now for w of negative 2 and negative 1. Okay, great. So Let's find out the next part. Oops, let's see. So we're going to continue with uh, n equals to 0. Okay, so uh, now we're going to use the first equation here. So w of 0 equals to x of 0 plus 2w of negative 1 minus w of negative 2. Okay. You, and you see now, we, like cleverly, we understand, we can see now that we can solve for the, w, the other w's, right? So now w of 0 is equal to, and x of 0 is 1. x of 0 is 1, because we can find out this, because this is 1, right? Because if we put x of uh, 2 to the power of 0 times 1 is equal to 1, right? Plus and negative 1 is 2 times 3. So essentially what happens is uh, w of 0, we can find out by putting x of 0 to w and uh, minus 1, w of a negative 2, using the, the previously solved things we use in here, and then we can find out that w of, of 0 is 6. Okay, so in the next part, what we're going to do... 
and we're going to do, sorry, and finally we're just going to do negative 1. Sorry, from this part here of w of 0 is equal to 6, we're going to put that into the y equation. Okay, so the y equation at the same n value of n equals 0. So the y equation is y of 0 is equal to w of 0 minus 3w of n minus 1. Okay, oh, 0 minus 1, which is just negative 1. So this is equal to, so we just found w of 0. So the reason why we're putting it back into the y equation is because that's exactly what we want to solve. So we put w of 0 into here, 6, and then minus 3 times uh, w of negative 1 is 3, so this is 3, and this equals to, this comes out to negative 3, like we had last time. Okay, and so the, the same process goes for another one. So you put it, you find the, the next iteration of n equals 1, you find the next iteration, and you find out what w of 1 is now, and then using w1, you find out, you put it into the y equation and find out y of 1. And then you keep going and keep going and keep going. So it's a different method to f solve it recursively, but it's called the direct form method. So depending on which one you find is easier, you can use either or. But technically, usually speaking, uh, we find that the the uh, the direct recursive solution is much faster. Okay, so that's it for this video.